This is the future. Future. Hi guys and welcome back to episode 4 and uh, like I said yesterday in this episode we're going to prepare the basic layout for the dungeon. Now when I started building this dungeon I didn't realize how close I was to the outer wall or even how high I was and I thought you know what the dungeon has to go underground so it took me a little bit of time to get my bearings and get the actual structure correct and start digging downwards and then also as I was moving down I actually dug into the cavern system which is underneath and it's then that I realized that this is actually a good place to build a dungeon so before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Um, because if ever you are like the bad guy and I take you um, down there you will realize that there is no hope for you. There's no means of escape. If you were to dig downwards, you'll fall to your death. And there's also another nasty surprise waiting for you. As you guys can see, it's quite a drop to the ground. And I thought to myself, wow, this, this is actually a, a good place to build a dungeon. So I built a bridge so that you can cross and I made the dungeon on the other side of the chasm. I started the construction for the bridge that goes across the little chasm and started the entryway to the dungeon section. So you'll be walking over this bridge and then looking at the sheer drop on both sides and this is where you will realize that you have no escape. If you want to go like I said, if you want to go downwards, you will fall to your death. And there's only one way in, one way out. While I was trying to open up a bigger section, I never realized I was actually underneath the waterfall. The one that my son made. And this is also when I realized that the good thing about this is if somebody's going to try and dig themselves upwards, they will drown. So. This made me just think that this location that I used for the dungeon was even better idea than I could ever have thought. Next up was trying to make a space for the cells. I was thinking of building maybe six cells. So I realized again I'm right in the waterfall. So I thought to myself, okay, I have to build a couple of cells and we we'll have, might have to go a bit down further to the back. But for now, let's build all the cells on the left hand side. Well, on my left now. And uh, see how far we can get um, or how many cells we can get. I'm not even sure at this point how big the rooms were going to be, but this was basically the general layout for the dungeon.
Don't worry about the signs guys, my son went and put up all these signs. I went back later and I fixed it. He, went, he also went further and made the rooms and put beds in and everything, which I fixed in the next episode. So this is it for this episode then. Uh, if you guys liked the video, remember to give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon if you are interested in seeing the next upload for Minecraft episode 5, in which we will be completing the throne room totally and also completing the dungeon. Uh, there's some extra stuff that my son actually showed me and I completed everything. So until next time guys, cheers.